Hello again, everyone. Grindel back here. We've got Porter out again, and he is going to be our guinea pig once more for showing how to set up action bars. Now, with the advent of 303 and now Wrath Lich King, um, Bongos 3 is no longer with us, and this is a very sad thing. Yes, I completely agree. It's it's just terrible. I'm going to try and do a couple of quick uh, how-tos here. Um, for action bar replacement mods now that Bongos is no longer with us. Uh, now the, the obvious successor for Bongos is Domino's. It's made by the same dev. After I've used Domino's, I went through Bartender, uh, bar, Bartender 4, Barkeep. Um, I didn't use X-Bars. I haven't gotten there yet, but it looks fairly daunting. I'll have to try that one. Um, but I think for my purposes, um, I like Domino's. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it's fairly elegant. Um, he cut a lot of the fluff out of, of Bongos, but it really doesn't impact the actual usability of the action bar, uh, especially in, in terms of uh, marrying it with the N52. So, uh, you know, if you just want an action bar mod that's going to give you what you need to use the N52 well, I think Domino's will suit you well. If you want a million freaking bells and whistles, uh, then we'll look into Bartender and Barkeep. Uh, and there's actually some things that, even with all the bells and whistles, they can't do that Domino's does, and for me, they're kind of deal breakers. So, anyway, we're going to move ahead with this. So, first off, we're going to bring up Domino's. Okay, so there's all of these mods right here, and we're going to turn them all on. There's separate mods for the buff bar, the cast bar, uh, the configuration window, which marries into the new um, uh, mod interface panel uh, on the main Blizzard um, interface window, and we'll show that to you. There's a roll window uh, for your loot rolls and a uh, replacement XP bar. And here we go. Now this is what your, the default Domino's Windows is going to do. And remember Bongos 3, if you saw the video on that one, uh, you actually had to draw each bar. This goes back to the old original Bongos uh, paradigm of drawing all of the bars and letting you manually deal with everything. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some of our... Um, UI elements out of the way. So for instance, we don't have a pet bar, we don't need that. We're not going to be using the cast bar, I actually use uh, cork for the cast bar, uh, but we'll get into that later. Um, move some of these U base elements around. Now, uh, what this does do that's really nice is, you want to melodify an element? All you have to do is, um, well, right click on it, and there you go. So for instance here, we want to set the uh, Height on this, I like it at about 20 pixels, and my width at about 26. And then it goes down here with my back bar. Okay. Um, I actually like these to be a little bit larger, so I can get at them. And the same thing for the back bar. Now we're going to match this up with our N52, remember, so we want a grid of 3 by 4 columns. So we simply say I want 4 columns, and there it is. And you don't even have to unclick between them, you just set each one the way you want it. I'm going to go ahead and take care of the rest of these while we're paused. Alright, so they've all been turned around and uh, turned into grids now. What we want to do now is we need to set up our paging. One is, in fact, supposed to be my main bar, and two is actually the page bar that I usually go to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and ten will be our warrior stance bars. Okay, so we've got our basic paging set up that we want to use right now. Don't forget your class bar. Yay! Alright, one is going to be our main bar, two is going to be its page. 3 is going to be our special abilities. We're going to page to 6 for secondaries on that. 4 is going to be our uh, alternate abilities. Page to 7 for uh, out of combat abilities, stuff like that. 5 is going to be our consumables. Page to 8 for extraneous things. 9 and 10 warrior stances in this case. Uh, for Druid, I found out um, there just aren't enough bars to go around, so I've only got 3 action bars showing so that I have enough for um, base, out of combat, um, bear, cat, uh, eventually, um, tree of life. Uh, Druid, unfortunately, you do lose a set of bars, but, you know, you can't use everything all at once, so it kind of doesn't matter. Alright, so we've got a basic one here, and we go back into, uh, we want to set our paging now. So we go to quick paging. Now, one already has quick paging set up on it, 
and it says on action page 2 go to bar 2 which is what we want but we only want two bars worth of paging so we turn all the rest of them off but we want to page the rest of these so we say okay for quick paging on page 2 go to 7 right on this one here quick paging on 2 go to 8 Uh, let's see, uh, where are we? Bar 3, we want to go bar 6. Right. Okay. So that's all of these. So now, if I do uh, shift page down to 2, there we go, they all swap out. Okay. And I only have two bars defined, so that's all the further they go. Um, so we need to set up warrior pages. That's the important thing next. So, here we go. And it knows I'm a warrior, so it sets up, uh, instead of... Um, for class, it knows automatically I'm a warrior already. So we set our warrior. It goes, okay, cool. What do you want to do for balance sta battle stance? Well, for battle stance, I want it to be bar one. Because that's my default as far as how I play. For your defensive stance, um, the way I treat it is you work backwards from ten. So I get defensive. That's going to be on bar ten. And berserker is going to be on bar nine. And that way, you, if you've got something like... Um, Druid, where you've got multiple bars, you're not sure exactly how many you're going to use, how many you actually want to have. You just, you know, allocate, okay, I've got six, and that leaves me with four, and I go, okay, bear on ten, cat on nine, uh, whatever I get on eight, and then work your way back some more. So, that starts that. So now, um, let's see, okay, and it brings up my class bar and automatically populates it with my stances. Now, here's one thing that dominoes will do that the other ones don't, or at least I haven't figured out how to do on the other ones yet, and that is you do this. You can say, hey, I want one column, and turn your stance bar into a vertical, which, for how I play, works out nicely because I actually don't like it sitting on top of things. Um, I actually like it to the side of it. And since there's only three, it fits right next to it. Some things I do suggest, though, um, if you got a hunter or a warlock, you got a pet bar, change this down from 10 columns to 5. Um, I'll show it better whenever I go over my hunter, but uh, it actually works out better and it maps out a little bit better to the action bar. Uh, the casting bar, I don't use that, at least not this one, because I use uh, quartz. I highly recommend that one, it's awesome. Um, and the vehicle bar, well, you know, if I ever hit 75 or 80 and can get a vehicle, well, there it'll be to come over here into Interface, Add-ons, Dominoes. So we can do things like say, hey, show me all the empty buttons so I can see where I actually have buttons. Uh, it also sets your possession bar, if you have a possession bar. You can tell it which bar to use for that. Um, we want to show our binding text. The action, Control, 1, 2, Shift. You can see I've already sent the, bu sent the bindings on these from previously. Uh, show our tool tips. Yay. You can also create profiles, and this is where it really becomes helpful, because if you play with multiple alts, you can create a different layout for each class or whatever. Um, right now I'm using a generic one just because I'm hacking it up a bit, um, but you can create, you know, because Warrior has the stance set that it has, Shaman doesn't, but it has, uh, you might want to have a totem uh, action bar, uh, Rogue, you get your stealth, Priest, you might get shadow form, um, Hunter, you obviously have your pet bar, um, Druid, you got all sorts of st stancing going on there. So these are useful to set up various things. But the base four uh, with a page, and then your extra button, uh, extra bars is the baseline for pretty much all of it. So a uh, quick swap around. That's been Dominoes. Oh wait, uh, last little bit. Middle click to make all the extra bars go away. Boom, boom. Don't need pet. And suddenly we got a clean UI with four bars laid out for our action for N52. And there you go. Stop eating the chair. Alright, everyone, take care, and we'll do uh, bongos, or no, uh, bartender and uh, barkeep sometime soon, and the class mods, I still owe you warrior. That will happen. Alright, take care.